what can you do from a marketing perspective to take your you know, new idea from zero dollars to a million? Like, well, what are the things you gotta do? Yeah, so, you know, business is hard, right? Like, like I feel like Kevin and I sitting up here is just the same reason that him and I are gonna lose a lot of money in angel investing. For every Google, there's like eight trillion other things, right, Conway's first fund, one in 187. He missed out 186 companies. Google was the right one, and away he went. I mean, right, when you talk about business, this stuff is hard, everybody's competing. You know, what you can do is be good. You know, it's like, like me sitting up here and telling you like, how do you become an NBA basketball player? Well, fuck, you need a shitload of natural talent, and then you need to work your fucking face off your whole life to get there. So, you want me to tell you how to build a business? Figure out what you're probably the best at, then work until you bleed directly out of your eyeballs, and then maybe you have a shot. And, and, and I know it's kind of like funny and silly, but it's kind of the truth. Like, like nothing for nothing, Kev and I, Kev was already internet famous, I really kind of wasn't when we first started becoming friends. We were talking on AIM at three in the morning, grinding. Yeah, I remember Gr- when, Gary, when I first met Gary, we were at FOA in London. And he comes up to me and he's like, hey, I got this, this wine side. This it's gonna awesome, hurt. man. And he's like, hey, do you want a case of wine? I can send you some wine. Let me know. Like, and I was just like, I don't know who this guy is. It was worse than that. He's being nice to me. K. Rose speaks at FOA 07. I brought up in my, over t- in my talk. It was the first conference I ever went to. I was so pumped. I come up to him. He's in the corner, a bunch of people in front of him. And I'm like, hey, Kevin. Uh, yeah, I do this wine thing. And my show once was on the first page of Dig. That's amazing. Awesome. And then I like, left. Like, I really thought, no, but, but I, that was I, a, I actually thought you knew every story that ever made the front page of Dig back then. <laughs> I truly thought that. Don't forget, I told you I wasn't techie, right? Like, literally, I had an e-commerce site from 97 to 05, but literally, I only started paying attention to this space in like 2005. Like, I didn't know, like, your cover on Business Week came out before I even knew about the Dig. I mean, like, I came in so late, like I truly thought you knew everything. Yeah, but story. the cool thing is that like, that's where you started, then you started hustling after that and you were just meeting everyone you possibly could, like talking about, like, Ryan's gone, oh there he is, uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, talking about just ways that you can get yourself out there and start networking, like a lot of people, I think Matt Van Horn was speaking about this a couple, yesterday, right? Uh, just ways that you can like grow a pair and go out there and like make it happen. It's, guys, check this out. So I come into this new space, I have a $50 million business at this point. Like, I made it amongst my friends. Like, I built a real thing. Like, like everybody thought I made it. I come into this space and I recognize, and I think this is a mistake a lot of people make, I knew my role. I didn't come in and be like, oh, you guys, you don't even make money, you're not, that's a big mistake people make. I said, this is a new space, I gotta start from zero. The first event I did after FOA was I flew to San Francisco and provided all the wine paid for my own flight, sent out $1,000 worth of wine, which I had, so that puts me in a different spot of maybe being zero, but to do a Leo Laporte Jaiku meetup. And I stood behind a table and was a bartender. And people were like, hey kid, fill this up for me. Like, like I think that people, you want me to be honest with you? I think we're soft. I think that, I think America's soft, I really do. I think if you look at how we're handling the global economy, we just keep kicking the can down the road. Shit's gotta hit the fan eventually, it's math. You know, there's nothing, you know, I think we're soft. I think people have a sense of entitlement. I don't give a fuck that you read TechCrunch for the last two years. You know, what have you built? You know, like, so like, I I think there's an obnoxious, uh, you know. Ryan, to answer your question, it takes real talent And then your talent is gonna be somewhere, right? Like either you're good enough to do a million dollar company, a 50, a 500, but even if you're good enough to do a million dollar company, which is a great number, an amazing accomplishment by the way. Again, this whole fascination that you have to build a seven trillion dollar business. Even if you're good enough to build a million dollar company, you're gonna have to work your face off. Like, you just are. You're gonna have to work a lot. It's work. And a lot of people are competing for that dollar and that eyeball.